Yes, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Tottenham 2 away at, at Bournemouth, mate. What did you... Uh, well, let's get into it. The lineup was that was, was essentially spot on. No yep. Solomon again today, though. Didn't get a minute at all. Yeah, listen, I, I expected it would be the same team as last week. I, I've, I've asked for consistency. That's what we're getting. I love the word consistency. I think it's it's how top teams are built. I think he got it spot on again. This manager yeah. is something special, Henry. People will say we're getting carried away, but that's seven points from nine with two tough away games, two two clean sheets in a row. We could have scored five, six, seven at the end there. Um, absolutely breathtaking to watch from Tottenham Hotspur. We've got our Tottenham back. Yeah, I thought I thought we were were very, very, very good again today, mate. Um, talking about um, let's start with. The lineup. So he's gone with the same lineup. We obviously both wanted Solomon in. Um, mm. We'll start on Kulu today. What did you make of Kuluzewski's performance? Obviously, he got his goal. Yeah. But I don't. Apart from the goal, I don't think he did anything else. Look, I, listen. I've been very harsh on Kulu. I'm glad he got his goal, and I really hope now that that kicks him off some confidence. I didn't think it was a good performance from Kulu. Um, I think he's very wasteful, but that's what you need to see more of. Right, even if you have a bad game, ghost into the box, grab that goal. So I can't knock him today for doing that. Um, but very wasteful with the ball, other than that. But listen, I'm not going to knock the guy today. That's what I need to see. That's what I need. So I say, I that's what I think we need to see as a football club. We need to see him getting in that box, grabbing those goals. And listen, he's got to start getting more output. So look, hopefully that gives him the confidence and he can go and kick on from that and build game by game. Because again, it's about consistency. Yeah, I, I agree, mate. I thought um, I thought it was a very, very good performance. I thought Kulazewski was was good. I don't think he was, he, I don't think he was fantastic by any stretch of the imagination. The midfield, though. Once again, mm. Sartar Torre, Madison and Bissouma. Yeah. Let's talk about the first goal. So, so uh, Bissouma makes a good good bit of play, plays it into Sar. Sar's perfectly weighted pass into Madison. And yeah. then he, he, he just tucks it away. What, what did you make of the first goal? Yeah, br brilliant move. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, Bissouma, I was thinking Bissouma was going to drive inside and then instead a little cheeky pass and Sar. Really good vision to see Madison ghosting in. But that's what we've been crying out for. A midfielder that goes beyond and creeps into to the box. Faintest of touches, enough to put it past the goalkeeper. And it capped off what I thought was a magnificent performance again from James Madison. Um, this guy Who's is... your man of the match? James Madison. I thought he was excellent. Um, he just makes things happen. Some of his through balls in that first half, especially even in the second half, just lovely, lovely weight of pass. He's always looking to attack. He's always looking to be positive. Um, I think he's absolutely brilliant. Would you say he's world class? I mean, I no. I think listen, listen. I don't want to get into into any no, world class. I'm not getting carried away. I'm just saying. No, what, no, 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 no. What else has he got to add to his game for him to be world class? I think it's, it's again, sorry, you're going to hate me for saying it's consistency. Go and grab 10 to 12 goals. Go and grab 10 to 15 assists. Then do it next year. Then do it. The, you know, for me, I think you've got to keep doing these things year in, year out. And you've got to con could be consistently good as well as working hard. I think he's a top pro that's got everything you need to be a playmaker. I think he's got absolutely everything you need in the modern game. He's brilliant. Yeah, I, listen, I thought he was, I thought he was exceptional today. Um, what did you make of Sars' performance? Yeah, look, I, listen, it's difficult. The, the performance Saar put in last week was sensational, right? Um, but he's still and he's only, tried to follow it up again, hasn't he? Absolutely, yeah. Listen, th listen, he wasn't as good as last week, but I thought he did really well. A couple of sloppy passes, but listen, the kid's 20. Yeah, he's going to yeah. have games which aren't always amazing, but I thought he, he got stuck in. His work rate is to be admired. Um, he's his pitbull, pass, isn't he? Up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Listen, gave away a few fouls, but I don't mind that if it's in the deep in the other team's half. That's what it's all about, right? Stopping the press, stopping the counter attack. Um, listen, he's got a good future ahead of him. Let, as as I keep saying, let's give him time. Let's let him make that spot in the team his own. And um, look, it looks like we've got a good player for the future. And hopefully, look, I've seen people in the last couple of days talking about Ballon doors and stuff. And you know, let's just just relax. <laughs> He's a young kid. Let him let him forge his own path. 
But look, he had another good game to follow up last week's sensational display. Yeah, I thought he, I thought he was excellent. Uh, Bissouma, class again today. I thought I didn't think he was as good as as last week, but I still thought yeah. he was he was very very good. What did, what did you make of him today? Yeah, listen, different game to last week. I think you know we've got a much bigger pitch than Bournemouth, and somebody might tell me I'm wrong if they've got the dimensions. But look, it looks a lot bigger, and I didn't feel there was as much room for him to drive into. You wouldn't you would expect that as well, being an away game, but. Again, his his ability to drift out wide to the left to get the ball and allow a doggy to a, a doggy to come inside, um, driving through the channels, um, his tackling. He's he's even good in the air. If you watch how many times he goes up in the middle of the park and wins the ball in the air, yeah, really good player, really good start to the season. Him, Madison, and Saar is just clicking, just absolutely clicking. And I'll be honest, it's a perfect I balance, isn't it, to the midfield? When when you when Basuma goes, Saar sits. When Saar goes, Basuma sits. Yeah, and you got yep. Madison, absolute class. The his distributions on another level. Um, absolutely. Before we get to Richarlison, because yeah, uh, I, I want to spend a little bit of time on him. You, I thought you you doggy or you doge. So I thought he was very good today. Obviously, the downside is I think he went off injured at the end. Just seemed there was no one if any ten year ten yards away from him, and he just fell to the floor. But what mm. did you make of of his performance? Yeah, listen, he, he, again, I think I think I put him in the same bracket as Papasar. Young player, you know, he's going to have good moments, bad moments, but I thought he was very good today, very strong in the tackle. Listen, he was up against a really tricky customer today. I thought Semenyo of Bournemouth is a really good player who's powerful running from the yeah. right-hand side. But I thought your doggy coped with him well. Um, I thought he got forward. Um, his, his movement for the goal, to set up the goal, was absolutely brilliant. Uh, the link-up play with Perisic. Listen, let's hope that the injury was just a precaution. He was walking off, which is good, always a good sign. And um, yeah, a really talented, really talented player. Yeah, I, I thought he was very good. R Romero and Van der Ven and Poir. I don't think our defence really put a foot wrong, to be honest with you. No, I, I, no, absolutely. Look, um, you know, listen, early days, but that's two games in a row now that Van der Ven and Romero have completed 90 minutes. Obviously, the first game against Brentford was difficult because uh, Romero went off injured so early. But the last two games, it looks like they're building a partnership. They look good. They look solid. Long may that continue. Again, I don't want to bore people, but again, for me, it's about can they keep doing that consistently over the next 5, 10, 15 games? But I think Romero was excellent today. And Van der Ven, I mean, it's like watching Vertonghen. It, it's Carly like Carly. watching with Vertonghen. His reading of the game, his, um, you know, he was good in the air today. Um, he to get he, back. He doesn't ever yeah, dive in. He doesn't, he's not rash, is he? No, very, very good player. And I'm so glad we got him. I'm so glad. Again, a lot of people were telling me pre-season, oh, I've watched Van der Ven. He won't cope with a Premier League. He's not good well, enough. Sanchez is good. Why do we need Van der Ven? These sort of things. So I thought, yeah, again, another very good display. And look, let's let's complete that back four. Porro again was excellent. Yeah. Defensively as well. He looks like he's getting better and better game in, game out. Um, I thought he was excellent in both going forward and and uh um, Vicario didn't really didn't really do too much wrong. Yeah, he made he, he likes to parry a lot of shots, doesn't he? He doesn't really like to catch it. He like, he'd rather push it out for a throw in or something. Yeah, listen, I'm I'm cool with that. As long as it's never back into the six yard box, I'm cool with that. I don't care. Um for me, again, Vicario, another clean sheet, hasn't done anything wrong in my eyes in a Spurs shirt. Loads of people keep wanting to make this narrative that oh he looks dodgy. I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing a goalkeeper in your first three games against Bournemouth away, Man United at home, and Brentford away. Yeah, only sure. Only two goals in the three games. I mean, what mm. more do people want? And one was a penalty, and one was a deflected goal. So, listen, I I, I think Vicario has had a really good start to his Spurs career. Um, I think a lot of these players and and the manager are proving a lot of people um, that if you get the right manager in, you get a coach in that wants to actually coach. I, I listen. I think I'm so happy as a Spurs fan right now. I'm so happy. We've got our Tottenham back, mate. The last thing I want to finish on, just the, the attack. Um, we'll start yeah. with Richarlison. For me, I thought he yeah. was our worst player on the pitch. Yeah. I mean, surely in the next week or so, we're going to go and bring in a striker, right? Surely. This guy is 
Oh, I thought he was. I think he was absolutely awful today. I'm not going to lie. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, look, it's difficult. I thought in the first half he did a couple of nice things that were not really what you know, not really a, what a goal scorer we should be looking at. I thought he had a good run down the right hand side when he drew the free kick. A tight, you know, a couple of good passes, but in all. His touch isn't good enough. Listen, I don't want to be negative after today. It was such a good performance. But yeah. this this truly is the weak link. And I know lots of people want to say, give him time, give him 10. This is the weak link. He's petulant. You saw him kicking out for that yellow card. Um, he can't control the ball. Uh, the header, I thought he should have done a bit better with. Yes, it he came in quickly. Where he ball rolled it through uh, the defender's legs. Should have shot, took an extra touch, yeah. went around the goalkeeper and then miss hit it. And I'm like, the guy can't buy a goal, can he? he he's not a goal. Listen, I've said this all along and I know people will have a go at me and I'm comfortable with that. This guy isn't a natural goal scorer. He's never been a natural goal scorer, Henry, wherever he's been. He will score a great goal every now and then, right? But he, he as I've said this to you before, he's a scorer of great goals. He's not a not great, goal, a great goal, scorer. goal scorer. And that's the thing. A composed forward puts that away. That's 2-0 at the time. A composed forward. Unfortunately, Richie, for me, is the massive weak link in this football team. Yeah, I agree, mate. And just, just lastly, finishing on Human Son very, very quickly. What did you make of his game? I thought he was better yeah. today. Yeah, I, I, again, I thought first half um, was okay. First half was okay. Um I, I think that he didn't. He doesn't look dangerous from the left. This is my point. I thought he did some nice link-up play from the left, but I don't think he looks dangerous from the left as a goal threat or a contributor for, for assists. However, exactly the same as the Man United game, when Sonny went to the middle and Perisic went to the left, Perisic showed why he is an out-and-out wide man. Yeah, yeah. And Sonny showed why he's much better because from the middle, he can run the left, he can run the right, he can drop deep, he can go in behind and he came and he joined in, got some chances. And to be fair, Madison at one point could have played him in so he could have scored. For me, that's what yeah, you've got to do, Henry. Against Max Aarons where he ball rolled, went again and went back on his left-hand side, got the shot away and it's probably a half yard past the post at the end. Mate, absolutely, absolutely. Look, Sonny for me needs a goal. I'm playing him through the middle. Unless we get another striker in, I'm playing Perisic left, Sonny through the middle, and 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 Kulu, Solomon, whatever on the right. Because when Perisic came on the left, how many times he gets a ball across, which is a dangerous cross. Yeah, it, uh, that's exactly that. That's why we, I've said all stream, we need someone like Gift Orban. 21 years of age. I mean, Valise, apparently, he, he's not playing due to his... Um, due to his uh, uh, work permit. So he'll, he'll probably be starting soon. But look, we are going to wrap up. Thanks for coming on, mate. Make sure you do smash no, no the like on the way down. Subscribe to Sava. His link will be pinned. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all soon. Thank you all for watching. We are out.